G'day guys, Andrew from Ozeva here. So uh, we're doing a review at night, first one I've done at night. Um, and what we're gonna talk about tonight is the uh, range of Illumo lighting. Now, um, this is a bit of a special review, uh, and the reason will become um, obvious at the end. Um, so I've actually written the script for the first time. So I'm gonna be looking at the script and reading out um, as I go. Um, okay, so. Illumo might be familiar to a lot of you guys. It's one of the brands that advertises really regularly on the page, uh, on the trader page and on the retailer page and even on the stand main Ozeo page. They do offer discounts for members, um, often 15% discounts. And they also do specialist lighting kits for Mitsubishi Evos. Um, at this point in time, I think it's only the 7, 8, 9, the CTs. Uh, I'll check that, but yeah, so. Um, they're a Melbourne-based company, haven't been around for that long, but have basically specialised in lighting for motor vehicles, um, mostly LED lighting and also some heat lighting as well, um, high-intensity discharge light systems. So they've been kind enough to send me up a package of their lighting, uh, which includes their LED globe modules for the headlights, or the low beam headlights. A set of these um, super duper reversing bulbs, which um, uh, there's two of those for your car there, of course, and also their full LED package. So, as you can see, it's uh, all packaged very nicely um, and comes in individual baggies inside. Very, very professional. Um, it's all labelled on the front, so these kits are made up of about 15 different globes, bulbs, so there's a bit in there. I think if you didn't have a more individually labelled, it will get a bit confusing if you're doing the complete changeover. Um, yeah, so all packaged up very nicely. Um, the bulbs themselves are really top of the range, quality-wise. Um, they're all aluminium. Um, bodied things, so they use a, I think it's a 6069 or uh, 7075 aluminium. Um, I'll pull one out of here. They are much better than what you'd be getting from Super Cheap. I've actually purchased a few of the LEDs from Super Cheap. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there, but completely aluminium bodied things, little aluminium heat sinks on them. This is one of the directional festoon lights, which is for your uh, boot light or your, uh, um, your internal lighting, like your uh, above your headlight there. Yeah, so uh, nicely packaged. Um, the little flare reversing lights are pretty interested. So these things put out um, 1400 lumen, which is about the same as a 100 watt light globe. So I've actually got a set of these installed on the car. So later on, um, I'll be doing some night shots of uh, comparing one of these to the standard ones that come with the Evo. Um, massive difference in them. So basically, it's gonna make reversing a lot easier at night for sure. Uh, the headlights are another interesting thing. So I haven't actually ever had an LED headlight in my car. I've used the standard H1 um, halogens that come with the car. And then I swapped those out a while back to a set of Philips HID um, globes. Um, so they're the globe and the separate ballast. Pretty good setup, the Philips ones. Probably top of the range as far as they go. Um, these are a little bit different, so a lot, lot simpler. As you can see, that's the complete module. Um, one thing I didn't realize until I had a close look at it is that they run a little heat sink with a little fan um, in the back of them ballast I guess and then just basically two plugs so I've actually installed one of these the other one out of this package in the front of the car um, in one of the headlights now they are uh, Declan who runs the show down there at Lumo um, he's saying that these won't be as bright as a hid light set uh, I think it's gonna be pretty close having a look at it today when I installed it um, but they might not be as bright but they are a much simpler setup much simpler um, I've got half of my headset sitting, hanging out of the front of the car, and it's five times, six times more material than this little setup. So a very simple setup. Um, so if they do get pretty close to the heads, I reckon these will be a good way to go. Plus the fact they've got like a 30,000 hour lifespan. 
which pretty much means they're set and forget. You put them in a the car, I worked it out, I've written down the numbers here. I worked it out that um, going on using them for hours a night, seven nights a week, you're gonna get about 21 years going on their expected lifespan, so a real long-term type of product. Okay, so yeah, so um, so what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to do some video footage of the lights. Now where there's been two lights, like the reversing lights, uh, I've just put one of them in. So you can see the difference between standard Evo lighting and the Alumo set. Um, where there's only one light, like the little compartment light inside the car, um, I've... Uh, gonna do a before and after shot of that uh, I've got Sam helping me and my son tonight so the video quality should be a bit beyond what I'm normally doing when I'm holding my phone in my uh, hand yeah so um, I guess that's about it the rest will be just video footage um, if you want to check out the Illumo products uh, their website's www.illumo.com not .au just .com uh, it's got all the information in there really fancy website um, it's got all their kits so have a look through that if you're interested. Um, I think you'll be pretty impressed of uh, just looking at what I've done so far. I can't fault it, it looks, they look really good. They're really bright lights compared to standard stuff on an Evo at least anyway. Um, and even compared to like the LEDs that I've purchased from Super Cheap, which I've got one of in the, yeah, the um, number plate light on the back. I've got one of the globes in there's an LED from Super Cheap and the other one is one of the Illumo LEDs. So you'll see the difference, it's massive. Anyway, uh, so that's about it, um, and then a little um, little thing at the end of the uh, video too, which would be a bit of a surprise. Okay, thanks. Okay guys, so inside the car now, this is the map light. Um, there's a standard Mishibishi, I'm assuming, globe in there, halogen globe, and then this side here has the um, Illumo light. I'll just turn that on, turn this off. So that's the standard light, you can see the color coming out of that. And then that's the Illumo one. You can see the colour coming out of that or the light coming out of that. So massively brighter. Um, you can compare the two there. These are really easy just to push in. This thing comes off the diffuser. Um, it goes that way there. So that even makes it even brighter um, with the diffuser on there. So yeah, so massive difference. I'm pretty impressed by it. Okay guys, so again that map light this time from the outside. That's the lighting. Um, or the amount of light you can see with just the one OEM Mishibishi halogen on. And I'll just flick the, that one off and put the Illumo one on. And that's the Illumo single bulb. So you can imagine with three of those Illumo globes in there, you'll have um, enough light. It'll be like day in there. So, yeah. Okay, we yeah, are ready to roll. Okay, so inside the car again, this is the dome light. Um, that's the standard Mishibishi OEM and OEM halogen globe. I'm just going to pop that out. Really simple, just put something in there. There's a little tab there to remove the diffuser. Um, I'll turn this other hand light on here so I can turn this one off. Hopefully it hasn't been too hot. Which it hasn't. And I'll just grab the Lumo globe. Get some light on the thing. Okay, that's in, and that's the Illumo one there, so again you can see the difference, much wider, much more light, um, massive difference, okay, thanks guys, thanks Sam. Okay, so these are the uh, number plate lights, so there's two on an Evo, um, I've got the super cheap LED in this side and on this side I've got the uh, Illumo um, globe so you'll see the difference so that's the super cheap one on the right there and then that's the Illumo one on the left so I mean sorry on the right there and the uh, super cheap on the left so you can see the difference it's pretty marked um, they're a much brighter LED than the uh, cheaper ones you get from super cheap which actually probably aren't even that cheap probably a similar price when you look at them Okay, so another globe included in the kit is the trunk, they call, which is our boot light. So what I'll do is I'll just take the, oh, that's, that's how it looks with the um, original 
globe in there, which is the uh, Mitsubishi halogen globe. Okay, so I'll just take this one out. Okay, so that's the aftershot. So again, much brighter light, a lot more of it. So it fills up that area, that uh, boot area really well with light. Okay, so these are the flare uh, reversing globes. Um, so the one over I've got, you can see there now, that's the OEM uh, reversing globe. And this side, which I'll uncover now, is the flare version. So pretty big difference. Uh, this is, like I say, equivalent to like a 100 watt light globe. So um, if you can move around a bit there, Sam, you can have a kind of look around. You can see the difference between the two it is absolutely enormous. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so these are the Parkers, obviously. Um, on the right-hand side, we have a good quality halogen. It's actually a Philips halogen. I replaced um, when I put the heads in, so it was a similar brightness to the heads. Uh, it's one of those ones that have like a blue covering on them. And then on the left-hand side, you've got the Limo um, Parker Globe. Again, massive difference in the amount of light they give off. Uh, I don't know how to kind of demonstrate that, but it's a much brighter, much whiter light. See that this time we can move around a bit. So yeah, so again, I'm very much brighter and then really good quality halogens. It's just a lot more light. You can look at the ground underneath it to see how much more light it's giving off. Okay, so uh, headlights. So on the right is my Philips head globe and on the left is the Limo um, H1 LED light globe. So um, yeah, I think looking at it, the Philips is brighter. Um, it's a different kind of light. It's a yellower light than the uh, LED, but it's uh, a pretty close call. The LED um, and the Parker are a better match than the uh, head and the halogen on the other side. Uh, so Sam, you can move around a bit. It's hard to say, hard to see really. But if you look around and look at the ground in front here, you can see the difference in the light output. So on the now facing on the uh, right hand side is the LED, and on the left is the is the uh, head. I guess with these, it's it's probably needs a little bit of adjustment. The globe on this side is. See yeah, that's loose because I haven't bolted it down yet, so it's probably able to um, lift up a bit. I think it's pretty um, pretty close, really. I don't know. I mean, I think the like I said, the head's a bit brighter, but it's not so much brighter that the amount of money and the amount of hassles with ballasts and and all the muck around with the wires. I think it's um, I think it's a bit of a close call, really. So yeah, so there are the globes. I guess that's it. Okay guys, so uh, that's about it. Um, so I'm pretty impressed. I think they work really well, these uh, Lumo lights. They are much, much brighter than the uh, standard halogen. Brighter even still than the uh, than like super cheap LEDs as far as I can tell. Good quality modules, aluminium. Um, yeah, um, you can see just by looking at them how uh, good quality they are. Um, as a little bit of a surprise or a little bit of a... Um, a uh, announcement uh, I've been provided with a full kit bring them over here full kit of Alumo LEDs for the map light dome light uh, the reversing lights the parking lights and the number plate light boot light so that and I'm going to give these away to someone so the deal is I want you guys to post up your best photo of your Evo at night the owner of Alumo, Declan, will pick a winner and then that these will be sent out to you. Worth about 210 bucks or so for these two. So this kit and the uh, flare reversing lights. So pretty good price. Um, so yeah, put up your, uh, your uh, best image. Only Australians, unfortunately. I, I don't want to have to be posting these over to the States or somewhere, it costs too much. So, so yeah, so just restricted to Australian uh, members. Um, like I said, put up your best photograph and I will get Declan to pick a winner out of that and uh, I'll send them out to you. Um, that's it. Okay, thanks Sam um, for doing the video work and the editing work. Uh, you're worth a million dollars, buddy. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.